what's happening guys today's another day on the channel and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on getting the head on the block we're going to go ahead and we're going to scotch bright the head we got some scotch right in the bag right here we're going to scotch bright the head down and then we're going to clean it off with some brake clean scotch bright the, the block down get that cleaned off with some brake clean put the head gasket on there plop the head on and we're going to try to get the head all torqued down tonight and put that on um, and then we're going to try to get that oil pump on the front and then we should be really just rocking and rolling and just moving forward. Most of the rest of this stuff is just going to be putting it together with some new gaskets and some new gasket maker. Cause it's just about that time, man. You just gotta wing it, throw it together. It's good. Uh, but no, not really. We're going to do it the right way. I got my sheets down in here of all my stuff that I need to torque and stuff like that. So, uh, we're going to get that all set up, but Let's go ahead, not waste any time, and just get to doing a time lapse on scotch spreading the head, scotch spreading the block, cleaning everything off, and getting it ready to put the head gasket on. Got to grab our head gasket and our oil pump, which are right here. There's our oil pump, and then our head gasket, and then we're good to go. So these are the two things that we need to put on today. And then we should be able to just put the oil pan on and the rest of it, and it should be good to go. So uh, I actually have a straight edge in the toolbox that we're going to use to to make sure that the head is straight still uh, and not warped and then we're going to go ahead and throw it back together so let's go ahead and get this stuff working here Okay, so in that time lapse, we did the head. We got that as clean as we possibly could get it right there uh, on the bottom side like I was showing. So now we're going to go over to the block and we're going to try to clean off the block as best as we can. We're going to take off this guide right here. We're going to let the chain come all the way down and then we're going to uh, just try to clean off the block as best as we can. I'm probably going to take both guides off so I don't mess anything up. Like I'm going to get pretty close to this here and I'm going to try to uh, scuff this up. So I don't really want anything to like scuff this up or nick it or anything like that. So we're going to take this off and this one and then we're going to try to clean it up. And I really just wish I could take these studs out because it's going to annoy me that I can't. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to do what we can. Um, I'll probably flip the block upside down one last time and then some oil is going to leak out of it again. So we'll have to wipe the block off on the top. And then we're going to, uh, the whole reason I'm going to flip it over is because there's a very small compressor here and I'm going to uh, get some brake clean. I'm going to spray it into each one of the sides of these holes here and then spray that out with a, with a compressed air. And I'm just going to try to get all that stuff off. I'm actually going to take off the uh, head retainers too, or like the, uh, I forgot what these things are called, but... Uh, the head stops pieces right here that hold it in place, head guides, we're going to call it that. Uh, and we're going to take those off and it's going to allow us to clean in there a little bit better. And then we're going to do what we can to get it back together. So let's go ahead and stop talking and get back to time lapsing and working on this thing here. So let's do that. Okay, so that time lapse was doing the block here. It actually came out a lot cleaner than what I thought it was going to come out with. Um, but the bad thing is, is that that scotch bright leaves a lot of stuff laying around afterwards. And it has a possibility of getting in the coolant and in the oil system. So what we're going to do is we're going to, when we throw this thing back together, we're going to use our oil that's in this bucket here so we can get rid of this oil and then we can... Uh, put it back in there after we're done but we're going to run the motor for probably about one heat cycle let it get up to temp and then we're immediately going to drain it and then we're going to put the uh valvoline 2050 in it and i'm going to inspect all the magnets and everything like that that we have in the actual oil system to try to get it so that we can 
if there is any material in the uh, oil pan and in the head block, whatever, we're going to get it out with what we're doing that uh, first oil startup. So we're going to do the same thing possibly with the coolant, the coolant system. All it's going to do is it's going to rust the block, which I don't think it's going to because that stuff is just going to eventually get pushed around and like that. And it's going to get ground up by the water pump. So, but the oil system is a lot more sensitive. So we're going to do that. Um, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to test the head gasket right here. Uh, right here. We're going to test the head gasket, put that on the block. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to clean off our head. And basically I'm just going to drop it on there and bolt it down and torque it to spec. It's pretty much all I'm going to do. I cleaned up cylinder one and four here. I might bring cylinder three and uh, two and three up the top dead center and clean those off really quick as well. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and throw this thing back together. So let's go ahead and get back to this stuff. Okay, so the head gasket goes on there perfectly, sits in there nicely and everything right there. Uh, once we put in the, uh, the, these things here that go on the ends of these two are actually called dowels. So once we put the dowels on, it'll lock the head gasket in the per, uh, proper way. I got kind of scared because I saw this head gasket and I lifted it up and you see that it's got some coolant passages there, but then this head gasket like blocks them off a little bit. And I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. But then I just looked up every other one and it looks the same, even the OEM replacement gasket kit. So I was like, okay, makes sense to me. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this thing on there with the dowel pins and everything. We're going to clean off the block one more time. We're going to clean off the head one more time. And then we're going to go ahead, plop it all down, tighten it up to 80 foot pounds for uh, one through whatever here in the correct order that they go. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to slap the oil pump on the front, get the timing stuff all set up. And then we're going to go ahead and send her on home and the head and the timing should all be together almost today. I might not put in the in, in the actual camps today. We might leave that for a later video, but uh, we're going to try to get as much as we can done today. So clean off one more time, put it together. That's what we're shooting for. So let's go ahead and get at that now. Okay, so the head is here. We're going to try to do this really quick because this thing is very unstable. The head is here. I just cleaned it off with some brake clean and some compressed air right here. Blew it off blew out everything we got to get some stuff off right here because that's there and i don't want any fuzzy stuff on the side of the motor there or anything like that uh that's all clean we got the head gasket right here on the block and we got the dowel pins in we're going to try to drop the head directly on and then we're going to go ahead and try to bolt everything up uh relatively quickly so that we don't have any leaks or anything like that so we're going to do this in live time but it's going to be very hard for me and i hope i don't mess anything up so um yeah let's go ahead and try to get at this right now okay. damn this thing's heavy Okay, head is on. Let's get these bolts in quick before it starts leaking oil everywhere. So yeah, guys, this is uh, gonna be tricky here. Sounds like it's already leaking oil. So we're definitely gonna have to clean the front of the block off, but I don't really know about underneath this head or anything like that. If it leaks and we blow out the head gasket, well, gonna have to uh, just fix it. You know, it's gonna be something that we do. I'm trying to put all these head studs, like washers here, in the way that I took them out, because it's gonna have a wear pattern on it of it being torqued down. So, I'm trying to do that. I do not have any ARP stud uh, lube this time, so. Gonna hope that these things come off when they come off next time. Uh, just like the stud bolts, because I didn't put any lube on those either. And now they're stuck in the block. So. And uh, we're kind of screwed because we're missing a washer. This is weird too. Oh, there it is. Got a double washer over here, guys. So I saw in my last video, you guys did like that I did some stuff in live time. So I'll try to do some more of this, like what we're doing right now, like actually putting it together. 
wish I had an impact gun so I can kind of zip these down a little bit quicker and we could so okay those are all on we're gonna cut right now I'm gonna pull out my papers we're gonna torque some stuff and then we'll be right back okay so went through my paperwork in here I got paperwork for everything in here from like uh still in stuff for 350Zs and that and that to like gauge pods and other stuff like that. Some stuff for Z1 in there. I got some schematics for some pinouts for some hall techs, some other random stuff in here. <coughs> Horns, systems, switches, hall tech, hall tech, hall tech, bunch of hall tech stuff. I got a bunch of ARP stud, ARP stuff here too. So this one here is 80 foot pounds. This one I believe is for an, uh, an RB20. It doesn't actually say it here, but it gives you the uh, diameter of the stud right there. And uh, for 2000 PSI, wow, that's a lot of PSI. Uh, this one here is for an RB26 DET. Um, flip this over if anybody needs this. There you go, there's the torque specs. And the torque spec on this is 105. And then this one here is for an RB25 DE, DET. Right here is for an SR20 DE. Uh, this one is actually for the, this is for the main studs. So, so this is the bottom. This is the bottom of the block right here, which I have those on this too. And then this one right here, this is for the SR20 DE. I don't know why it doesn't say DET, but whatever. We're going to use this. This is one that I used before. So here we go. This is the torque way that I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the torque spec is actually 90 foot pounds. So it's actually more than what I was going to torque it to. So uh, that's good. So now we have to do, I'm going to do two equal steps to 90 or three equal steps to 90. So I might do 30, 60, and then 90 and then we're gonna have it all torqued down. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll do a time lapse of doing that and uh, let's go ahead and hit it. Okay, so now the head is on. Like I said, we used the Harbor Freight torque wrench, which I don't think this, ever, this thing's ever been used, but I have used it a couple of times kind of as like a little tap or hammer to like tap something off. And I have used it like once or twice to like torque a wheel, but I haven't used it for anything major like this, like torquing a head. So I'm gonna bring a snap-on torque wrench here during the week and we're gonna check the head, go over it one other time and uh, should be good. Uh, the nuts had a little bit of trouble and they kept making some weird sounds, tightening them down, but that's also probably because I don't have ARP head stud bolt fastener stuff on them. So it's probably making some weird noise. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off the front where the oil pump goes and we're gonna slide the oil pump on after we get some of the timing stuff on. So I think I actually do have to put the cams on before I put the uh, timing chain on. So let's go ahead and try to get those in uh, but before that, we're definitely going to put the timing guides in and then we're going to uh, go ahead and try to get the cams on and then we'll try to set up the timing. So let's go ahead and try to get some of the stuff, other stuff done today. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the timing stuff on there. We're going to use some blue Loctite again. And we're going to slide the timing stuff up into there where it needs to go and then we're going to bolt it all down. Okay, so heads on, timing's on or the timing chain is on the timing guides are back on i put blue loctite on them once again and i torqued them down i was going to go ahead and put the uh, oil pump on but i looked up what you could use for this and i called somebody and they told me i couldn't use the o-rings out of this little gasket kit here because uh those are pure rubber and they're just going to swell up on me and then i'm going to have a leaky oil pump and that's just going to defeat once again our purpose of doing this whole thing so we're going to go to Mako Hose later this week, and we're going to go ahead and get that O-ring. And in here, kind of sucks. I'm going to need a power steering rack eventually, but uh, I bent up my power steering high pressure line under here when I was pulling out the motor. So I'm going to have to go to Mako and get that as well. We'll try to do that during the week. It's going to be something that I have to schedule and get that thing done. I might have somebody else go do that for me. 
uh, while I am at the shop or something like that. So yeah, gotta do that. But before that, we're gonna try to get these cams in tonight. Um, maybe I might just put one cam in and then just call it for the night. We'll just do it all. We'll get the whole timing all set up so that we just come in the next day and we just gonna pull, throw the oil pump on, throw the oil pan on, get the head, uh, the valve cover gasket on. And then we're just going to put the hot side together and this thing should be back together and running next weekend. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put these cams in now. Okay, so we got all of our rockers on there. Exhaust, intake, rocker arm, little pieces that go on the bottom on there in the right direction and everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plop one of the cams in there. We're going to use some oil this time to actually just um, put it on there to lube it up for when I first started up. And then we're going to uh, come back the, the next day and we're going to put some assembly lube. I'm going to put some assembly lube on this thing so that it'll actually stay a little bit more than just that. This one here looks like it's got a lot of wear in it right here, actually, though, which is not that great. It's got like two little gouges in there, which I'm not super happy about. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean off the cams and we're going to go ahead and plop these things in there. Okay, so going over some of the footage that I have. We have enough for another video. I'm gonna say we're gonna be done for tonight. We did a little bit. We got the head on, we got that all bolted up. We got the timing chain back on with all the timing guides and everything like that. We got the rocket retainers in there. We cleaned off one of the cams and we got it on there. But I wanna put this head together the right way and we need assembly lube for the cams. Uh, we put that on each one of the hoops for the cams and you put it on the cam and then you put it on the rocker caps and all that. Uh, or on the caps and then you put all that stuff together so I want to do that part right because if these cams get don't get uh, oil right off the bat then they're going to seize right up and we're going to need to buy another motor so we're going to do that stuff later and we need oil uh, assembly lube for the oil pump too so we're kind of at a stopping point once again so we're going to go ahead we're going to stop for today I'm going to try to cover up as much as I can so that we can not get dust and dirt and everything everywhere inside this motor um, but yeah, let's go ahead and end the video here. That's about it for today, guys. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, share, do all the good stuff. And I hope to see you guys in the next one with more SR20 rebuild stuff and getting it together to put in a car. I want it to be running again. So next two videos, we're going to have it running. So that's about it. Later.